Welcome to this new video in which we are going to explain the X-Win solving technique in Sudoku. So, the way the X-Win technique works is to look for two squares in a row or a column that contain a number, and the number can only go in those two squares in that row or column, and crucially, they must be the same column or row. So what does that mean in practice? So if we look at row 3 and row 9, where can the 2s go? Well, the 2 can go here and here in row 3, and the 2 can go here and here in row 9. Now, crucially, for it to be an X win, they must share the column as well. And if they were in columns, they must share the row. And that's the case here. So this is an X-win. And you can imagine drawing the lines between the two diagonals to make an X shape. And now if, for instance, instead of this square containing the 2 or 9, it had been this square over here, then we would no longer have an X-win, because then it wouldn't be sharing the column. So if we know that this, 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 and this are the four squares containing the two in those rows in some order, then what deductions can we make? Well, what we know is that if this is a two, then neither of these two squares can be twos, and therefore this must be a two. And we also know that if this is a two, then this can't be a two, and this can't be a two, because they both see the square, therefore this is the two. So whilst we don't know which squares exactly contain the 2, we know that in column 3, the 2 is either here or here. And in column 5, the 2 is either here or here. And since we know that, that means we can remove 2 as a candidate from any other square in column 3 and column 5. So in column 3, this square contains a 2. And in column 5, this square contains a 2, and this square contains a 2. So we can remove the 2 as a candidate from each of those green squares. And once we've done that, that enables us to make more progress in solving the puzzle. So that's what the X-Win pattern is, and how it works. We hope you find the video useful. If you have any ideas for other videos that you'd like to see, or technique explanations you would find useful, then please do just let us know.